Welcome back to B D D D D E. We've got our fourth and final box for our seventh case. That means we now have opened. I've opened twenty-eight of these boxes. It's a lot of money. At about one hundred fifty dollars a box, it's a lot. It's added up to about four grand from what I just checked. And I'm not. And I'm not sorry about that. I'm a, I'm okay with that. Um. It's an expensive desire to do this. Most people, you don't need to do this kind of be this crazy, but I just couldn't help myself this time around. I needed to just go nuts and have some fun with this. So we're going to open from the back, try to go backwards today and get some luck going. Hopefully we will on our last box, but I don't think we will because it's all gone into that second box, that fable and uh, the alternate art for the lake is just something that I cannot compare. And I just would like to get... If I get another legendary, then that means this case is the best case I've opened so far. But any of the other pulses in cold foil would be what I'd want uh, if I couldn't have another legendary. If I can't have another legendary and be greedy, then I will take a pulse. But not the pulse of Isaroff. The that's the ice earth defense reaction one. I need the lightning one in particular is what I'd like. Bolt Haven, I think, believe it is. But we'll find out what I get by ripping into these packs and hoping. Ah, uh, should we put the rest of the pack all these upside down? I think we should. So we're gonna open. Oh, yep. See what happens when you don't. When you go the right way, you get Cracker Jack straight away. That's okay. So we got that last time. We're not gonna. We can't turn this upside down now. I'm sorry. It's just not possible anymore. Ooh, we got a lot of boxes where our cold foils are coming hard and fast in the first packs. I don't know if that's good or bad. But in this entire box, there's like our main cold foils have come in the front. So last pack, we got one in the first two bo uh, the first two packs, I believe it was, and already. Jeez, that's our second Cracker Jack, so that's all right. So I'm okay with that. Still hunting a hood, uh, but I can pick one up pretty cheap. They're going for an average of like $30 now. So finding one of those, not going to, on the secondary market, not going to be a problem. Let's have a look. Ooh, lightning press looks very nice. Just a plain old buckler. Plain old buckler. Nothing special there. Whoa, I can't wait to see. Ugh. So once we get this all done, and then we buy whatever cards we missed out on after opening seven uh, cases. Mm, we have an egg uh, exposed to the elements. We will then... Tr and a flash. It's not too bad. Deep blue. Yep, so uh, once we do that, we'll start sorting out our collection for one of each in the first edition foils. And I have plenty of to do that. Uh, that's our second uh, Majestic Force of Nature. Not a bad card. For Thump, always looks good. Kurt Frost. Ooh. So... I'm not sure where they're going to go next for these, uh, the next set, but uh, I, don't, and I don't know how they're going to top this set, but it'll be interesting to see where they go next with this. Um, they might be doing a supplementary set like they did with Return to Wraith, then uh, the Arcane, and then they did uh, Crucible of War, and that was a bit of a supplementary set, and now they've had two sets, two main sets. They had Monarch and now Tails. Will they go for another supplementary set? And what will be in there? That will be interesting. So, if they don't do a supplementary set now, what will they? Do? when will they do the next supplementary? It's a nice, because, uh, you know, Crystal of Ore is a really nice set. Lots of good equipment to help people build it back up. So they could ragamuffins that. So they could set up and actually build decks with different things. Created new pathways with the two different... Uh, 
and they introduced new equipment and created new paths for existing heroes and new directions that weren't thought of before. And what I find is quite uh, a good way of doing it is have your main set of cards, your two set main sets, and then you just add these other cards that can just put a massive twist on all the cards that people have had before. Um, decks they've had before and change it all out. That's what I'm hoping they do. So that way, no matter where people are, they'll buy the new set and they'll be able to turn the meta on its head. Amulet of Earth. Because I like changing meta. I like it twisting. I like to be able to, that all the different heroes can have their time in the sun. Um, at, for different reasons. And they can all sort of punch each other in the face. Tell I like my stuff. Winter's Whale. Not a call for though. Not a call for. Chill to the bone though. Mark of Lightning. Yep, I don't really like uh, one set of things dominating forever and ever until the next set comes out. I want things to be able to even change midstream. People have come up with a new idea to deal with it. And their new deck tech works. Cold Wave, Deep Blue. Cracks Bobble goes there. Ah, I feel a little on the Majestic. I think they're going to start coming hard and fast, as my experience is. Two rares. Weaving ice. Always beautiful. I think the only ones I don't really, really like in uh, foil for this set are the ones that aren't part of the elementals. I think all the elementals are an amazing, amazing uh, foils. Press the lightning. Oak and old. There we go. There's the majestic. And we have an entwined earth and an old buckler. I honestly cannot wait till everything here in Sydney opens up so I can actually get into the thick of battle again and really test out these cards and these builds. Surge. Well, it's not the cold for, but on the way. God, if my last things are uh, run away, I'm gonna be disappointed. If I get to the bottom of that, and that's the last card, last bit of spice, is some more runaways. I'm just going to be sad. Winter's Bite. Ragamuffin's hat. But overall, this case has been pretty good. One Legendary, one Fable, and an uh, Alton Art. There's no complaints there about the actual overall performance of the case. But if we can get a Legendary, this case will just go from, you know, pretty good to ridiculously amazing in no time flat. Doesn't matter what it is, another legendary would just, even if it's another pair of boots, what's just, I, I've never heard of that happening. It would just be amazing. I may, I may be tempted to open one more case, but that's not anytime soon, I think. I think I am, oh, I'm getting, Blizzard. Another nice majestic to add. Uh, Blizzard Bolt. I think I'm at the end of this journey. But I've said that at the end of two different cases, so, you know, until I don't keep to my word, I just do what I feel like and go with uh, what I feel is best. And I felt this this particular case call to me in the cupboard. No, that's not true. That's not true at all. I just found it on top. It was just the one on top on the uneven piles, so I just took it. That's all it was. Down to the last four packs. After this one, of course, I mean. I didn't even open this pack. Thought I was, you know, better than that at this stage. Two nice little rares, triple rare pack. Weaving and an amulet. So nothing too special there. So who do we have here left? Briar, you gave the gold uh, you gave me the gold card. Let's see if you can give me anything else. I think we'll open Briar the last one. But she did give me a Foil Majestic. That's not too bad. Um, I already have th a three or four of these now. So that's okay. But still, might become a thing. Alright. Lexi, you're up. Show us your goods. Show us what you've got inside. 
Yep, you can give that a giggity if you like. Uh, it wasn't intent. That wasn't okay. That was intentional, but you know, I'm just trying to have some fun. Hey, she gave up a lighted up. Not bad. Not bad. And it's just a false uh, for the suffering. A bit of suffering there. She's had a bit of suffering. Honing hood. Nothing special there. All right, Father Christmas. Your second last. Right, because you did give me the golden card two boxes ago, you do get to go dead last and try and see if you've got some spice. We have a weaving lightning, inspired lightning, and a frost fang. So, and we have another cracker jacks, but it's not for, uh, cold for, so it's okay. So this, uh, these last two bo uh, boxes haven't been too special. We have one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven Majestics here. Has not been too special. This is actually probably the worst of this uh, case. Unless this Aspry is going to give me something good here. And then it will be the worst. We'll find out in a second. So no special Majestics here. Ragamuffin's hat in a non cold foil. Sad face. All right, so despite the possibilities, we only got one common cold foil out of every single box there. We do have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven only Majestics, so we are a bit low. Um, so that's a little sad to go out on a bit of a whimper, but Hey, not every box in a case can be a banger. Um, I'm not going to be one of those scumbags that opens two great boxes out of a case and then just goes, well, these two boxes, go put them on sale. No, I'm not going to be. But that's also why I don't like buying loose cases. Uh, sorry, loose boxes myself and only want full case. Just uh, stop recording, of course. Just double checking. I didn't leave a Majestic out quickly. No, nope, not that I can see. So, yep. A little low on the Majestics here, and uh, no extra cold fall despite being in every 20 packs. But that's still a beautiful Cracker Jacks. Beautiful lightning on that. Alright, so this is potentially, but not guaranteed anymore, the last case that I'll be opening. Uh, I'm still missing two legendary cold foils. I'm going to have to buy them or spend another $600 to open another case. I think I'm going to buy them because they're about $600 each or I'll see if I can trade out for them for some of my double legendaries that I have because I do have a few. Alright, that's all we got here for you at B. And we'll catch you all next time.